Hey everybody, it's Ray with the Hey Ray team, and I'm here with uh, Ian Dungeon on the Hey Ray team as well, and also with Rob Holler from Taller Holler Construction, and they're going to show you what they're doing with a, a renovation that Ian's uh, having done to his house. So I'm going to turn it over to Ian and Rob and let them describe some of the uh, things that they're doing in terms of uh, the construction techniques that they're using here to make a really good renovation. Thanks, Ray. So Rob's going to walk you through what we've done so far, but I just wanted to explain a couple things as the homeowner why we chose to do what we did. So if you look down here, this is a helical pile installed by Post Tech Halton. So they're a local contractor. This is all they do. Fantastic guys. These posts, there's seven in total, were put in in about one morning. Um, the reason we chose to do this, not only does it save a ton of time, um, it saves a huge mess and a huge cost as to um, putting in a traditional foundation. Um, you can see some of the steel and construction work that's happened here. So Rob's going to kind of just walk you through where we're at in the project right now. But these posts and everything here will be strong enough to hold a full two-story addition. So this is our kitchen that's coming out, our laundry room on the far end. This is about 400 square feet on the ground floor. and It'll be another 250 or so on the upper level of those two bedrooms. Over to Rob. Okay, Rob. Hi, Rob Holler, Taller Holler Renovation. Uh, been a contractor for a long time, especially specifically here in Halton Hills. Uh, we do a lot of uh, framing renovations. We were framers for a long time, so this is what we specialize in. Uh, some of the work that goes on here is steel beam on each side of the addition. So when we put the roofs on, all the trusses are going to transfer down on each side of the structure. So steel beams get uh, welded onto the plates that are sitting on the helicoils. But because we don't have a foundation underneath it and have heat underneath it, we have to build a second floor underneath the main floor and fill it with insulation. So by having a second floor underneath, it also allows us to have space in the, the, the upper floor to have all the mechanicals run through and prepped. If you don't prep this properly, then you're going to run into the issue of having to cut the floor back open to run it in later. So prep is all key here. So from here, steel posts already in, welded down underneath the floor so we can get our second steel beam upstairs to the second level. 